This is why you sound like a cartoon chipmunk with helium. You know that hilarious squeaky voice you get after inhaling from a party balloon? It's one of those classic party moments that never fails to get a laugh. But have you ever wondered what's really happening inside your body to make your voice sound so wild and funny? It's not just for party tricks, there's real science behind that funny voice. Helium balloons might be the life of the party, but they're also a perfect way to explore some fascinating physics. Let's dive into the science that turns your normal voice into something straight out of a cartoon. Let's break it down. So what's going on when you take a breath of helium? When you inhale, you're swapping out the regular air in your lungs for a gas that's much lighter and behaves very differently. But how does that actually affect the sound of your voice? Normally, when you talk, your vocal cords vibrate and push air through your throat and mouth. These vibrations create sound waves which then travel through the air and reach the ears of everyone around you. The air carries your voice out, and the sound is shaped by your mouth and nose. The size and shape of your vocal tract help determine the unique sound of your voice, kind of like how a musical instrument works. But here's the twist. Helium is way lighter than regular air. In fact, helium is about seven times less dense than the air we breathe every day. That's why helium balloons float up to the ceiling while regular balloons just hang around. It's like swapping your heavy school bag for an empty one. Suddenly, things move faster. When you fill your lungs with helium, the sound waves your voice creates can travel much more quickly through this lighter gas. In the case of your voice, sound waves travel almost three times faster in helium than in air. This means the higher frequencies, or pitches, in your voice get a big boost, while the lower ones don't change as much. That's why, after inhaling helium, your voice suddenly jumps up in pitch and sounds super squeaky. It's almost like you've been transformed into a cartoon character, or like Alvin and the Chipmunks after chugging a ton of coffee. But don't be fooled, helium doesn't actually change your vocal cords. Your vocal cords are still vibrating at the same rate as before. The real change is in how the sound travels after it leaves your throat. It just changes how the sound travels after you speak. The lighter helium lets the sound waves zip through your vocal tract much faster, which shifts the resonant frequencies and makes your voice sound higher. It's all about the speed of sound and the lightness of helium molecules. Helium's unique properties make it a fun way to experiment with the science of sound, and it's a great example of how physics can show up in everyday life, even at a birthday party. So, next time you hear a funny helium voice, you'll know it's pure science, not just party magic. You can impress your friends with your knowledge of sound waves and gas densities, and maybe even inspire someone to learn more about physics. But remember, never inhale helium just for laughs. Breathing in too much helium can be dangerous because it replaces the oxygen your body needs. Even though it sounds funny, it's not worth the risk. The science is cool, but safety is cooler. Always put your health first.